right, here I go again, ranting about fucking meaningless BS all day, every day, but I'm not gonna stop fucking fighting. I am not. I do not give up. Anyway, I learned something today. I learned that you can block certain ports on your router to block incoming traffic into your network. So try to control that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. I manage the settings in my gateway firewall IPv4 custom security communication so blocking TCP port 8443 block ICMP block multicast block peer-to-peer -peer applications this is the email communication right here that's probably block 25 and 587 and then block indent port 13 same thing for IPv6 same applications so throw in your fucking face there you are bitch that's what you fucking asked for I did a little bit of research I learned here and there and I'm blocking IP addresses and I just wanted to read out a article that I found I'm gonna read it my ISP is blocking port 25 is port 587 a good replacement talking about replacements over here hmm does it fucking ring a bell many local ISP started blocking port 25 recently my clients can no longer access their email accounts on their email server from ex from external clients like Outlook etc I am a complete rookie in this area and I read that port 587 would work as a replacement port. Before I change the port in the server I would like to know if this is a standard widely used port and if anyone has any stories about emails not arriving at an email server whose SMTP for port is 587. It's another article. Port 587 is used by to authenticate and relay mail through the server. If you block 25, your email server will not be able to receive email from any other mail server nor send email to any other mail server so I wanted to read this too does Comcast block any ports well I got Comcast called Xfinity all information on the internet passes through ports to get to and from computers and servers when a certain port is known to cause vulnerability to security and privacy of your information, Xfinity blocks it to protect you. So, reporting phishing scams, forwarding phishing email messages to spam at uce.gov and file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. Be sure to include the full email header of the fraudulent message. How do I complain about cybercrime? A cybercrime incident can either be reported in a police station set 
criminal procedure makes it mandatory for a police officer to record the complaint irrespective in the jurisdiction in which the crime was committed or via the National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal, cybercrime.gov.in. Of course, we got IC3. Does this look fucking familiar? Fuck off, pig. <laughs> 